Hi, my name is Kavneet Baveja. Friends call me KV. I come from a small town, Khanna, in Punjab, India, and I'm getting an MBA in business analytics. So once you get acceptance from any university across the US, um, you will be getting the I-20. It is like a document, the basic document that is required to apply for the F1 student visa. So once you receive acceptance from a university, uh, you have to obviously fill I-20 application. This application can be found at university's website and then you need to provide your copy of the passport and along with the financial proof of statements to cover all your expenses. So the total amount that a student needs to show for his funding for his education could vary from program to program and from university to university and the best answer could be found in the I-20 itself. So when it comes to showing your financial proofs, I think um, the best could be the bank statements and I remember in my case bank statements handwritten were never allowed like I got a bank statement from the manager he made it handwritten and it was not accepted by Hafsha. Hafsha was pretty quick they answered my question right away but when I went to the bank next day the manager went on leave vacation for 15 days so I got stuck for 15 days so the best thing is to get the printed bank statement or the you could either get the bank loan statement some students would like to show their other kind of assets which are like stocks or property or gold and I know like those kind of funds are not acceptable. Uh, also from my experience I got to know that Chinese student could show the frozen funds at the time of I-20 application. In some cases I know that there could be instances that a student is not able to afford his expenses or is not able to show his financial funding proof. In that case, the best thing is to find the sponsors. The sponsors could come from either from US or either from India. They just have to show an affidavit and letter of support that I am supporting this child to pay his coverage for this university program. And another interesting thing is there could be multiple sponsors. So if you have relatives in US or back home in your own country, you could go for sponsorship. So in case of transfer students, I think it is not that much of a problem. Uh, they just need to submit like few additional documents and they could be found online or they could reach out to graduate admissions office or international office. And I know that these two offices at Hofstra University are pretty quick and helpful in answering the questions. It doesn't take pretty much long for I-20 to, re to receive an I-20. I would say, I remember that once you submit all the documents that are required by Hofstra University, they are pretty quick. It's a pretty quick turnaround. Like they immediately prepare your I-20 and they ship it via FedEx and you should receive the I-20 at your home within like seven to 10 business days, I believe. So once an international student receive I-20 from Hofstra University, um, the next step is to apply for the student visa, the US student visa that we call as an F1 visa. Um, it's not that hard as I myself went through it. Um, Hofstra University website is really pretty good. They have like FAQs answered. They have all the steps and uh, mentioned on the website and the steps could vary from country to country. You will have to pay a service fee, some amount of service fee to the immigration department and then you schedule an appointment for interview. You do have to appear for a personal interview and the questions from country to country could vary so it is always the best practice to be prepared for the interview and to be honest with your answers. So as I said that the questions may vary from country to country but there are a few basic questions that that are always asked during this personal interview for the US student visa. Some of the basic questions like why are you going to US, what is the name of the university, what is your program that you are going for, what is your intention behind going for this program, what do you want to do and if you have any strong ties to your home country that you would come back. My best advice for prospective international students would be to keep an eye on their emails before going to bed and after they wake up every morning because most of the countries have difference of day and night and I know universities like Hofstra University they are pretty quick in answering the questions that they revert back in 24 business hours most of the times so it could take like a couple of days if it is busy but keep an eye on the emails and I would say be prepared with all the documents that are required for the visa and I-20. You should not wait until you get acceptance from the university because once you get acceptance then you if after that you start collecting the documents it takes a lot of time and then after you get the documents you get I-20 then you schedule an appointment for visa and then there are at the peak time of students chatting session for the school the visa date gets delayed so just be prepared in advance and keep an eye on your emails.